interesting job we've got coming up now. I'm going to strip the uh, heat exchanger out of the engine and service it and descale it. This is uh, the engine on here is the Beta 35 um, horsepower four cylinder. Now that's my hot water tank. Okay. Now I've replaced that for the the old one was absolutely corroded and rotted away. Now when you've got um, a hot water tank you have to use a the header tank modification and there it is. The blue pipe runs down and goes down to the engine. Now here we are with the beta engine. Now this is the original pressure relief valve fitted to the engine from new but of course if we look up here you'll see there's actually a modification of a header tank being fitted now when I bought the boat the um, there was a bit of a problem because I was getting water leaking out of that cap um, and that's the pressure relief valve but then I realised that the cap that was on the header tank needs to be swapped for the original cap that was on the engine because the pressure relief valve now needs to go onto the header tank, the plastic header tank at the top. This pressure relief valve now needs to be fitted onto the header tank so that any pressure over pressure will come out of this. Okay, yeah, I could put a rubber pipe on that to take it away. The reason that was leaking when it had the pressure relief valve on the engine was of course the the water in the header tank was come running down here you can see that seals on the inner lip whereas the other one seals on the outer lip which is what we want this one the water was it was coming through there and leaking out the top so that was obviously wrong so whoever fitted this put the caps on around the wrong way basically so the the red beta cap has to go on the header tank and the header tank cap goes on the engine okay okay I've drained the water out earlier the, uh, the fresh water out of the fresh water system that's been drained down so I'm going to take the alternator off and strip the heat exchanger off the engine okay well there's the water pump looks like there's been a little bit of corrosion down in there I'll clean all that off but to get to that bottom bolt on the alternator you can't actually see it it's going to be difficult to get to because it's behind that um, pump output connection at the top of the pump so we've just removed the alternator and um, you need to be careful this spacer which fits on there it drops off when you take the bolt out. Here's, here's the bolt. It's an 8mm hex. Um, that goes through there. Holds it on at the bottom. Yeah, got that out. We're, now we're at, there's a 13mm 13mm nut in there that you've got to undo. Okay, there's the bolt I've removed. Note it's got one of those special washers on it to seal the end of the chamber. It's got a, a rubber, vulcanised rubber section to the washer. I can't remember now, but I think I'm, go I'm going to strip the other end off as well. So there's your, the housing on the end that's got the anode in it. I'm going to remove this and that and obviously this and then we can take the end off
Yeah, now I've just removed this off of the end of here. Off of the end of here. It, it comes off quite easy. You need to get a screwdriver under it. It's a bit, it was a bit um, glued on. And it'll probably need all cleaning up now. Um, I'm going to leave this attached and undo the centre bolt and then hopefully undo that and then because I don't want to interfere with this pipe too much yeah I'm undoing that now I've loosened it with a spanner it's a bit tight to get a socket in socket uh, ratchet in there so I've used a spanner let's hope this works okay there it comes It's come out with it's come out with the washer on it again. Yeah, as I thought, it's easier it's easier to undo this end and pull it off here. You just use a screwdriver to release the rubber off of the tube and that come off fine. Now in there um you can see the anode, it's, ain't, it's in good condition actually, the anode, but there's a bit of crud there. A bit of scalation, or maybe left over from an old anode. But there it is. Okay. This, I've just taken out of here, out the end. Now, I got the bolt out earlier, but I couldn't get the this bell end out. So um, I put the bolt back in at an angle and just sort of got a bit of leverage on it and it pulled out. And there we are. That will need a new kit. The whole thing will need a new kit. Okay, so here we are. I've had to draw it out from this end because obviously with the exhaust there, I can't get it out that end. So yeah, we've drawn it out. The um, I remembered the that um, is the front because it's got a, a two notches out of that. Uh, oh, I can't film this. There's two notches here. They were at the, they were at the exhaust end. So that's the way it came out. It was a bit. It was a little bit tight getting it past this, but no, it, it was all right. Yeah, it's come out. So we'll clean it all up. I'm going to take that home now and um, probably put some kettle descalent through it. Now, obviously, this has got a solder seam running down, and I've just realised that when that's in, of course, is the the fresh water coolant is on this side, so it's important that there's no leakage in this solder joint, otherwise you'll have seawater getting into your fresh water system so somehow i'm going to test that to make sure that it's not uh, there's no breach in the solder joint yeah there we are we've stripped that uh, heat exchanger tube assembly out and i'm going to take it home and clean it um just as a matter of interest the the manual here does actually um, refer to it on page 22 it's got the, um, the picture numbering wrong but um, it refers to it and it, it uh, explains how to do it but the doing isn't always the same as uh, the instructions unfortunately right, we've got the spares here I've got a spare impeller from um, direct from Beta Marine, I've got the spare O-rings and the ceiling washers for the heat exchanger, and I've even got a pump gasket set and um, a water seal bearing, well, a rubber water seal, not a bearing, a uh, shaft seal. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just cleaning this up with some of this 
um, green abrasive pad. Uh, that all needs cleaning up nicely. Okay, well, we're cleaning the, the housing up that goes on the end. It's slightly got a bit pink, but um, that's probably because it's slight desinkification, but I mean, it's fine. And that's probably what the anode does for it. That's what the anode does. It stops these sections of the system from desinkifying. That's all, you know, it's brass. It's probably Admiralty brass, I don't know. There we are. I'll clean that out. Clean that off there. Make sure it's thoroughly clean. Now note this has a, div a divider in here. So what happens is is the the water comes in presumably from the seaside up into here and then along through the heat exchanger and back through the top and then out here. In fact, I think it's the other way around. The water from the pump from the sea goes in here, along down and returns, and this this goes off to the exhaust to return by the exhaust. Um, yeah, so make sure that um, make sure you get this end around the right way because that that marries up with this. So you get the top flow and the bottom flow. Clean the bolts up. These are quite critical because this is, you know, with those washers, we're going to put new washers on there, but that could cause a problem with water leakage. Engine's running okay. 